Hey guys, in today's video, forgive me, it looks like my battery's about to die. We are replacing the air conditioner on a mobile home. And I'm gonna show you what we got here. They stole the 240 volts from here to run that. We are replacing this and I'll take you inside and show you what's in there. We're replacing that. The compressor failed because it basically ran out of refrigerant and caused the compressor to pump with no refrigerant in it and the coil was leaking. And the coal in here is what we're replacing. All right, I am coming back to see if we need to do anything. I think I saw a dirty filter the first time I was out. So I'm coming back to see if they replaced the filter. Um, just look at the job. And now that I've got you out here, talk about this job and whether or not I should have accepted it at all. Here we go. Okay, the lady inside is asleep. She works the night shift and I'm not gonna knock hard enough to wake her up. So I'm just gonna walk around and look at what we have. And I'll talk to you about that, what we have. Okay, the reason I'm questioning whether or not I should have taken this job is because I condemned the compressor on this as I was simultaneously figuring out it was dead on refrigerant. And I found a very oily spot in the evaporator. It looked like we may have had some kind of blowout. So I gave him an estimate to replace the evaporator coil and the condenser and for a whole new system. Y'all saw how old it was. Um, new air handler, heat strips, blower, all that. And he said, but I've got this condenser. This fella, I assume he has multiple properties and he had this <clears throat> condenser in storage and he really wanted to use it. He didn't want it to go to waste. He sent me a picture of it and it's an R22 condenser that looked like there was no refrigerant in it. And then if there was, I didn't know what might be in it. Just an R22 condenser. It was a dry charge at the time, so I quoted him. I, I said, "Yeah, we can make it work, but I'm gonna have to buy a new coil, convert it to R22, and then choose a refrigerant to go in this." And he was like, "Sure, go ahead. Let's make it happen." And my question is <clears throat> whether or not I should have, because what he has ended up with is a 13 year old dry charged r22 condenser that is used in a new coil in a very old air handler <clears throat> and i've been trying not to reveal where this is or who the landlord is i just think he's a young landlord trying to make a business decision and um this is one of those where I was asked to do something that in the back of my mind I felt like was not financially a good decision, but he really wanted me to do it. So I did it. Um, and it's now working and doing fine. I'm just, I feel like maybe I should have pushed back a little harder saying, hey, I don't think this is a good choice. I don't know they have to live with their own decisions and i have to live with mine i i did what he asked me to i advised him and just move on 
Well, guys, tell me, would you do the same thing from talking to this property owner? From talking to this property owner, I'm pretty sure that if I hadn't have done it, he was just going to get somebody else to do it. So my thought was at least make sure it's a good job, do it right, use virgin refrigerant, and um, so I made him happy. I tried to do a good job and I was up front with him. I don't think there's any more I could do. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the discussion. If you did, how about like and subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one.